All right, good afternoon, everyone. We'll take questions for Avalanche forward, Naz and Kadri. We'll start with Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Hey, Naz, how are you doing? Good, thanks. Good. Um, to start, I guess, just how are you feeling and how did you deal with much symptoms-wise when you when you had COVID? Uh, feeling a lot better, for sure. Um, I think I just had to grind it out for a couple of days and you know, had a couple uh, mild symptoms, nothing too uh, outrageous, so... You know, it's always good to be back and uh, at the rink and seeing the guys. So, um, you know, excited to be back. Anything else for Nazem? Go ahead, Peter. How long does it take you to kind of get back in the swing of when you've not played a game in this long? Like, how long do you feel it takes you before you're really kind of clicking on all cylinders again? Um, you know, I, I wouldn't suspect too long. I mean, there's obviously a little bit of rust when you're off the ice for, uh, you know, nine or ten days, whatever it was. But... Um, you know, I don't think it's, it's like you f forget how to play or anything like that. I think it's just, uh, something that comes, you know, naturally, obviously, like I said, you got to shake off some rust, but for the most part, I think, uh, you know, getting the virus, I think, uh, just, you know, working those lungs out and, um, getting back to, to playing shape is probably the, the main concern. Kate Shefty, the Gazette. Hey, um, can you tell us a bit about practice today, how you were feeling during it? And was that a kind of an elimination shootout at the end there? <laughs> yeah, just a little bit of fun. Uh, you know, obviously you want to, you know, keep it a little bit light. It's an optional skate today, so not uh, a whole lot of guys out there. But, you know, for myself, obviously I've been uh, out of the loop for, for a few days now. So I just wanted to get out there and um, warm up. So, you know, it was a, it was a good skate, more of a, you know, skills, skills development, stuff like that. And I uh, just had a little bit of fun at the end. So it was, uh, it was good to see. Peter Bob, the athletic. Yeah, Naz, when you were out, were you able to work out at all? Like do any like dry land stuff while you were, had COVID, but maybe we're feeling a little better. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. Um, you know, on the bike in the gym, I, you know, I, I got the, the gym downstairs, which helps. So you know, when you, when you first, I think, get the, the virus, it's a little tough and, and you might feel a little bit fatigued. But like I said, after uh, two, three days, you know, you're back to feeling like yourself and mixed in a couple of workouts and, uh, you know, nothing too extreme just to keep, uh, you know, the blood flowing and, and, uh, and your heart rate up. So nothing too severe, but, you know, it's definitely good to, uh, you know, get some pace. All right. Thank you, Naz. All right. Thank you. We'll get going. Sorry, with Curtis McDermott, Peter Baugh, the Athletic. Hey, Curtis, how are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. Good. Uh, curiosity question: Have you, in your life, ever lost a fight? Yeah, yeah, I've lost many. I mean, um, you know, coming up through uh, the OHL and AHL, you know, as a young guy, there's there were some tough ones, but you know, that's how I learned and. Uh, you're not going to win every fight, but it's about uh, making sure you're, you know, protecting yourself and uh, doing the right things and um, making sure um, you're getting better at it, I guess. Kate Shefty, the Gazette. Under your instruction, is Alex Newhook ready for his first NHL fight? Uh, I mean, it's just, uh, it's just about them uh, asking questions and, you know, being able to protect themselves. If, you know, any occasion arises. I mean, it's uh, anything can happen out there at any given time. So they just want to make sure and I want to help them uh, be able to protect themselves and feel comfortable if, uh, you know, a situation like that arises where they have to stand up for a teammate or protect themselves. Terry Fry, Colorado Hockey Now. Is it about protecting them, protecting themselves, or is it about them becoming proficient fighters? Uh, no, it's just about them protecting themselves. I mean, it's not their job. Um, that's uh, that's my job, and I want to make sure I can do it as much as I can. But there will be times where I can't, you know, if I'm on the bench or, um, you know, a scrum happens or anything like that. And, um, you know, they want to have the – they got to be able to have the confidence where they uh, they can – they know they can protect themselves and, uh, you know, not get hurt or anything like that. So that's just all that is. Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Yeah, I know you were on the, the COVID list for a bit. I guess, how how are you doing now? And did you experience many symptoms while you were while you were out? 
No, didn't feel any symptoms. Um, it was uh, it was a long ten days, but you know, got through it, and um, it's uh, really good to get back working here and getting the legs back and the lungs back and everything. Uh, you know, just back to uh, you know normal uh, everyday life now. Terry Fry, Colorado Hockey now. At what point do you recoil, if at all, to the label of, of an enforcer, and 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 the part about wanting to wanting to show and prove and quiet to talk about that you can't do more than be that you that you can be a defenseman in in a in a top six situation. I mean, it's just uh, it's about being able to step into that role whenever I need to, and obviously. Um, the physicality comes uh, natural to me and um, that's part of my job, but I got to be able to play the game as well. You know, there's some games where, um, you know, it's not a physical game, but I got to be able to read. And um, if it's a faster game, I got to be able to step in and uh, do my job on defense. Um, so it's just about being prepared either way. And last one here for Curtis, Peter Bobby Athletic. Yeah, Curtis, I know we talked about your dad earlier this year, but your brother also played in the NHL. What was kind of his impact on on you growing up and what were some of the biggest things you learned from him? Yeah, I was very lucky. I mean, he's five years older than me, so I was uh, able to watch him all through, you know, going through the ranks of, you know, junior and then the minor pro and in, eventually into the NHL. So he taught me a lot along the way and everything that he went through. And, you know, we went through some, you know, similar situations. So. He was a guy I could always talk to and lean on and get his uh, advice on anything about that. So, I mean, I wouldn't be here uh, if it wasn't for him and, you know, the stuff he taught me along the way. All right. Thank you, Curtis. Thanks, guys.